All right, so this right here is my Hyundai Elantra, all right, after 155,000 miles. I'm just going to give you a walk around, show you how the paint has held up over time, how the headlights look, how the grill look, the bumper, the rims, 16-inch rims on it. This is a great gas save. This is a great car all around. This right here was my work car, Monday through Friday. Drove this thing everywhere. I do a lot of highway riding, a lot of city riding. Uh, 13 gallon tank. It takes, it does 28 in the city, 38 on the highway, sometimes four, depending on how fast you're going. And like I say, overall, just a wonderful car to have. Very humble car. Zero to 60 was not that fast, somewhere up to seven seconds. And it's a 1.8 liter four cylinder. But like I said, I'm just take you around the car, show you the vehicle, let's see how it looks, let's see how it holds up, and just give you my opinion on the vehicle after owning it for just about five years now. All right, let's get right into it. 2013 Hyundai Elantra. Here we go, right here. This is it. Four cylinder. None fancy, no V8 four cylinder. This is a gas saver right here. Got 155,000 miles on the engine. Let's, let's be quiet so we can hear the engine. Let's see what it sounds like. This is with the AC on. That's right, with the AC on, this is what it sounds like. This engine has been great to me. No problems, it, it, it's, it's been doing fantastic. All right, no problems. Got a good battery in it. You know, I keep, it, keep the oil changed, everything, and air filter, and just, just ride it. Just ride it and have a good time with it. All right, let's keep it moving. These are the wheels. These wheels has been good to me. Got a little grass on them today. Out in the grass, been good to me. Got a little scratching right there. Little paint chipping, fading off the coat right there. The sensors have been great. They still work. I never had to replace one. I know if you, it's all depending on where you take your car to get the tires done. Sometimes guys, they'll pinch those things to tear them up. But this one's been great. I just got these tires put on. I had two, these two front ones cost 300 and I had two more to get put in the back. But these two front ones, 300, they're supposed to get 30,000 miles. These tires have been fantastic, okay? I haven't had any problems we're worried about. What, what, what model that is right there? That's the YK740 GTX. Rain, no, rain has been holding the road. Noise, none of that road noise. These tires have been fantastic. I keep the brakes. I had the rotor chains last time I did the brakes. This thing's been holding in the road, no problem. Driver's side, which everyone wants to see. Like I said, 155,000 miles. Got a little, little dirt right there. That's about all that is right there. Don't worry about that. This is it. Look at the buttons. Check the buttons out. You know, the buttons like to fade. The button's still showable. The door handle, everything, like I say, 155. All right, all these still work. None of these are broke. That still work. Everything, everything is still working in this car. Everything you can think of is still working in this car. Let's look at the seat. That's a 155,000 mile seat there. Look at it. You looking at it? I'm looking at it. Look, cushion, still up on the sides. None of that flatness. No, plump, still up. The seat, clean as can be. Did drop some ink in the seat. A while back, ink pen, that's a hard thing to get out. But seat, seat wise, seat is very clean. You got some guys with some new cars that ain't got seats that clean. Look at the floor. Floor, floor good, yeah, great, all right. Gas pedal, brake pedal, it's good. That still works. Traction control, eco, you name it. That still works, let's sit down. Let's look at the dashboard. 154, 757, showing the hood and the trunk on, which is true. 160, not gonna say I got this thing to 160. I mean, the best I probably did was you know, this is, it's not a, it's not a it's not a vet it's not a fast car or anything. It's a gas saver. So I mean, I might have did 95 one time, but you know, I, I know I'm a kept it under 80. This 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 thing keeps me keeps me humble. It keeps me from getting speeding tickets, crew control, all that works. Uh, no problem on that. Radio works. You know, all that. If you look these cars up you'll find out that the fuse for the radio would flick on and flick off every blue moon really rare I really never could time because it was, like i said it was very rare months or something like that maybe three times out of year and you have to come down here to this guy open it up get in there when you get in there see that off and on it would basically reset the whole panel now that's a defect 
it's very common on a lot of these cars this year and the year before the year after uh, but that's just something Hyundai didn't want to man up to and get fixed so you with Air Blue Moon had to come down here and flick it off flick it on but no worries like I say it was so rare that you know you never could remember the last time you did but anyway let's turn the radio on okay enough of that for YouTube get us you know how they do but nonetheless like you, you uh factory speakers they stayed in they stayed working good fm media now this thing did have the mp3 uh where you, you could put the cd in back in the day and you had to have probably like 10 or 7 albums on one cd this did great with keeping up with that it, it had that mode on so that was good um but as a time has went on I stopped using cds and that was just that but nonetheless up and down folders that's what all that means uh let's see right here you know standard ac control not too fancy got your little box right there um now that facing right there did come off that's for the usb and the zero report it did come off uh i have it somewhere but it, it came off but other than that pretty straightforward 12 volt battery all the way down they have the manual in the automatic I always kept it in automatic two cup holders e-brake not too crazy. All right, look like I forgot to clean it up, but I got that pretty slam. Check the passenger seat out. You see it, I see it, we both see it. That is a clean seat. You show that, that seat, fantastic. Once again, sides still up, but you do see a little tear. And this might have been somebody had the wrong pants on, maybe had some cargo pants on one day and it, it kind of ripped it a little bit. Same thing with the floor. Floor's in. Excellent condition. Got another 12 volt over there, side pockets. Moving on. Um, back seat. Now I would say this, I did get a little fading on this one side. A lot of people gonna say it was how you was washing it, maybe washing with detergent. Now I was the second owner of this vehicle. I got this vehicle 85,000 miles, the first owner kept it for uh, 85,000 bumper. The bumper was to the 100,000 mark and they may have been washing with the wrong soap but i use none but the best of the soap so that was that that's the fading on it but once again i mean what we're talking about 2013 so we're talking about seven eight nine we're talking about good nine nine and a half years here on this car since it's been since it rolled off the assembly line that's not including that it was a 2013 it may have rolled off assembly line six months prior to even being 2013 but let's move it along nonetheless back seat same same thing here clean as a whistle you see it, I see it. Clean. Ah, nice, nice. Probably never opened this or even used this, so that's probably why this looks so good. Carpet looks good. Got a little scratching on the back seat. Not even less. That was me. That was some of the things I kind of threw in the back here. 60-40. 60-40 here on the, on the trunk, you guys. Now, a lot of people not going to know. It's a little dirt right there. You see it? 60 40 on the trunk what do you what i mean 60 40 i mean that seat to drop down that leads you to that seat so that's the 40 that's the 60. um on the new one i picked up i'm gonna show you here soon it don't have a 60 40 the next model had it but not this model but nonetheless up under here spare tire right. that's your back in now the front grill here standard rock tipping and things on the road when you got 150 some thousand miles on but i did notice the chrome started to feel here other than that i don't have i can't good things to say about this car man this car has been the bomb and i hate to see it go but it must continue to go on because I, I like to put my miles down and i'm since the gas has went a little bit more higher which this is doing great so it didn't really matter like I said, I want to get my feet into something new. I would definitely recommend this car to anyone, uh, but we're going to move it along. Like I say, let's, this is this is what we're going to be driving now. Right here, okay? The 2023 Hyundai Elantra, okay? All white, blackout. I did just recently go put the tin in it. And in this, the Elantra's the new ones, they do 46 highway, about 38, 39, and the I wanted to try something new, so I did right there. We have the blue hyper, okay? So this is your 2023 hyper, okay? 
56 highway and they say 54 in the city now i drove 300 miles so far i'm gonna take you through that and let you look at that and you know i'm gonna give you a review and everything but you know what i don't want to make this video too long so you know what we'll catch all this on the next video i'll show you this new uh hyundai Elantra on the next video let's, let's just get out of here everybody enjoy the rest of the day all right to the next one